The Parisi, a sub-tribe of the Celtic Sinyanis, inhabited the Paris area from around the middle of the 3rd century BC. One of the area's major north-south trade routes crossed the Seine on the Ile de la Cité, this meeting place of land and water trade routes gradually became an important trading center. The Parisi traded with many river towns and minted their own coins for that purpose. The Romans conquered the Paris Basin in 52 BC and began their settlement on Paris' left bank. The Roman town was originally called Lutetia. It became a prosperous city with a forum, baths, temples, theatres, and an amphitheatre. By the end of the Western Roman Empire, the town was known as Parisius, a Latin name that would later become Paris in French. Christianity was introduced in the middle of the 3rd century AD by Saint Denis, the first bishop of Paris, according to legend, when he refused to renounce his faith before the Roman occupiers, he was beheaded on the hill which became known as Mons Martyrum, later Montmartre, from where he walked headless to the north of the city, the place where he fell and was buried became an important religious shrine, the Basilica of Saint-Denis, and many French kings are buried there. Clovis the Frank, the first king of the Merovingian dynasty, made the city his capital from 508. As the Frankish domination of Gaul began, there was a gradual immigration by the Franks to Paris and the Parisian Francian dialects were born. Fortification of the Ile de la Cité failed to avert sacking by Vikings in 845, but Paris' strategic importance, with its bridges preventing ships from passing, was established by successful defence in the Siege of Paris, for which the then Count of Paris, Odo of France, was elected King of West Francia. From the Capetian dynasty that began with the 987 election of Hugh Capet, Count of Paris and Duke of the Franks, as King of a unified Francia, Paris gradually became the largest and most prosperous city in France. By the end of the 12th century, Paris had become the political, economic, religious, and cultural capital of France. The Palais de la Cité, the royal residence, was located at the western end of the Ile de la Cité. In 1163, during the reign of Louis VII, Maurice de Sully, Bishop of Paris, undertook the construction of the Notre Dame Cathedral at its eastern extremity. After the marshland between the River Seine and its slower dead arm to its north was filled in around the 10th century, Paris' cultural centre began to move to the right bank. In 1137, a new city marketplace replaced the two smaller ones on the Ile de la Cité and Place de la Greve. The latter location housed the headquarters of Paris River Trade Corporation, an organization that later became, unofficially, Paris' first municipal government. In 1190 he transformed Paris' former cathedral school into a student-teacher corporation that would become the University of Paris, and would draw students from all of Europe. With 200,000 inhabitants in 1328 Paris, then already the capital of France, was the most populous city of Europe. During the Hundred Years' War, Paris was occupied by England-friendly Burgundian forces from 1418, before being occupied outright by the English when Henry V of England entered the French capital in 1420. In spite of a 1,429 effort by Joan of Arc to liberate the city, it would remain under English occupation until 1436. This king made several improvements to the capital during his reign. He completed the construction of Paris' first uncovered, sidewalk line bridge, the Pont Neuf, built a Louvre extension connecting it to the Tuileries Palace, and created the first Paris residential square, the Place Royale, now Place des Vosges. In spite of Henry IV's efforts to improve city circulation, the narrowness of Paris streets was a contributing factor in his assassination near Layal Marketplace in 1610. During the 17th century, Cardinal Richelieu, chief minister of Louis XIII, was determined to make Paris the most beautiful city in Europe. To demonstrate that the city was safe from attack, the king had the city walls demolished and replaced with tree-lined boulevards that would become the Grands Boulevards of today. Paris grew in population from about 400,000 in 1640 to 650,000 in 1780. Paris was the centre of an explosion of philosophic and scientific activity known as the Age of Enlightenment. In the summer of 1789, Paris became the centre stage of the French Revolution. The first independent Paris Commune, or City Council, met in the Hôtel de Ville and, on 15th of July, elected a mayor, the astronomer Jean Sylvain Bailly. Louis XVI and the royal family were brought to Paris and made prisoners within the Tuileries Palace. A succession of revolutionary factions ruled Paris until November 9, 1799, when Napoleon Bonaparte seized power as first consul. The population of Paris had dropped by 100,000 during the revolution, but between 1799 and 1815, it surged with 160,000 new residents, reaching 660,000. Napoleon Bonaparte replaced the elected government of Paris with a prefect reporting only to him. He began erecting monuments to military glory, including the Arc de Triomphe, and improved the neglected infrastructure of the city with new fountains, the Canal de l'Arc, 
Perlisha Cemetery and the city's first metal bridge, the Pont des Arts. During the Restoration, the bridges and squares of Paris were returned to their pre-revolution names, but the July Revolution of 1830 in Paris, brought a constitutional monarch, Louis-Philippe I, to power. The first railway line to Paris opened in 1837, beginning a new period of massive migration from the provinces to the city. Louis-Philippe was overthrown by a popular uprising in the streets of Paris in 1848. In 1860, Napoleon III also annexed the surrounding towns and created eight new arrondissements, expanding Paris to its current limits. During the Franco-Prussian War, Paris was besieged by the Prussian army. On 28 March, a revolutionary government called the Paris Commune seized power in Paris. Late in the 19th century, Paris hosted two major international expositions, the 1889 Universal Exposition, was held to mark the centennial of the French Revolution and featured the new Eiffel Tower, and the 1900 Universal Exposition, which gave Paris the Pont Alexander III, the Grand Palais, the Petit Palais and the first Paris Metro Line. Paris became the laboratory of naturalism and symbolism, and of Impressionism in art. By 1901, the population of Paris had grown to 2,715,000. At the beginning of the century, artists from around the world including, Pablo Picasso, Modigliani and Henri Matisse made Paris their home. During the First World War, Paris sometimes found itself on the front line, 600 to 1,000 Paris taxis played a small but highly important symbolic role in transporting 6,000 soldiers to the front line at the First Battle of the Marne. On June 14, 1940, the German army marched into Paris, which had been declared an open city. General Charles de Gaulle led a huge and emotional crowd down the Champs-Élysées towards Notre Dame to Paris, and made a rousing speech from the Hôtel de Ville. In the 1950s and the 1960s, Paris became one front of the Algerian War for Independence. In August 1961, the pro-independence FLN targeted and killed 11 Paris policemen, leading to the imposition of a curfew on Muslims of Algeria. The anti-independence organization Armée Secrète, for their part, carried out a series of bombings in Paris throughout 1961 and 1962. The May 1968 events in France resulted in the breakup of the University of Paris into 13 independent campuses. In 1975, the National Assembly changed the status of Paris to that of other French cities and, on March 25, 1977, Jacques Chirac became the first elected mayor of Paris since 1793. The population of Paris dropped from 2,850,000 in 1954 to 2,152,000 in 1990, as middle-class families moved to the suburbs. In the early 21st century, the population of Paris began to increase slowly again, as more young people moved into the city. In March 2001, Bertrand Delanoway became the first socialist mayor of Paris. In 2007, President Nicolas Sarkozy launched the Grand Paris Project, to integrate Paris more closely with the towns in the region around it. After many modifications, the new area, named the Metropolis of Grand Paris, with a population of 6.7 million, was created on January 1, 2016. In 2011, the City of Paris and the national government approved the plans for the Grand Paris Express, totaling 205 kilometers of automated metro lines to connect Paris, the innermost three departments around Paris, airports and high-speed rail stations, at an estimated cost of 35 billion euros. On 11th of January an estimated 1.5 million people marched in Paris in a show of solidarity against terrorism and in support of freedom of speech.